This training video is to explain how the new Signal 4 diagram tool integrates with tracks. The days of using templates or drawing the streets manually are gone. Here is a preview of what a diagram will look like once completed. Diagrams are now completed faster than typing a narrative. After completing a driver's exchange, you must convert the form to a short or long form. Some of the information that is needed for the diagram tool is only available once in a short or long form. The Signal 4 diagram tool uses information that is completed from the roadway information and vehicle sections. Starting with the roadway information section, you must use the geolocate tool. Using the geolocate tool will plot the map area where the crash occurred based on the lat and long for the diagram. In the roadway information section, the at street address number field, if applicable, the crash occurred on street, road, or highway, the at from intersection with street, road, or highway, and the type of intersection are all required fields to build the diagram. In the vehicle section, the vehicle number which is pre-filled, the color, direction of travel, area of initial impact, vehicle body type, special function of motor vehicle, and vehicle maneuver action are all required fields to build the diagram. If a commercial motor vehicle is involved, the commercial motor vehicle configuration and cargo body type are also required. Once these sections have been completed, the Signal 4 diagram has all of the information needed to generate a diagram. To open the Signal 4 diagram tool, you will scroll past the regular diagram section to the Signal 4 diagram tool area. If you click on that area, you will then see a button below the next previous and clear that says diagram tool and you will click on that button. You will also notice on the far left where the form detail section is. There is one called Signal 4 Diagram. If you click on that, it will take you directly to the same field and you will click on the Diagram tool. Diagrams are required for all long forms. A diagram may be added to a short form. However, a short form will validate without a diagram. To provide further information on how to use the Signal 4 Diagram tool, here is the Signal 4 team to explain. Welcome to Signal 4 Diagram Training Part 1. When you open the S4 diagram tool from your system, you will see a browser window with the preliminary diagram created automatically by this tool. The tool creates colored and labeled vehicle icons, places them around the point of contact, and displays them over a background image. The button in the bottom left-hand corner opens the Participants Reported panel, which shows a concise view for each vehicle or non-motorist included in the crash report. To view full details of the participant data pulled from the crash report, Click the Data button at the top of the page. To zoom in or out to a desired point, click the plus and minus buttons or scroll using your mouse. As you zoom in or out, you can see that the scale bar at the bottom adjusts automatically. If you pan too far from your diagram, click the house icon to return to your diagram. You can use the opacity slider bar to adjust the opacity of the background image until it is suitable for your diagram visual contrast and clarity. In addition, you can use the button above the slider to change from color image to black and white image or to black and white image and diagram. We will be referring to the background image as the map throughout this training. Here is how this diagram example will look when it's finished. Let's see how we get there. You can click each vehicle on the diagram to rotate or reposition them individually. You can also use the selection tools at the top if you want to select just a certain section or select all elements. For this case, we will use the Select All tool to reposition and rotate into the correct place on our map. The next step is adding post-crash positions for each vehicle. You can add prior and post-crash positions directly from each vehicle, and these positions will appear with a lower opacity than the vehicle at the position of impact. To do this, open the context menu of the first vehicle by clicking the three dots, and then click Add Post Position. Do the same with the second vehicle. You can then move and rotate these positions as needed. Next, we will add traffic lights and text labels. To access these tools, open the Diagram Tools panel in the upper left-hand corner. There are four tabs, Participants, Signs, Objects, and Tools. Go to the Signs tab and click and drag the traffic light symbol to the diagram and place it in the correct location. You can resize this symbol using the blue arrows. To add the text label, select the text box in the Tools. To draw the box, just click one time to start it, drag the box to the size you want, and click again to complete it. You can then type inside the box. If you want to make the box fit to the word, just click and drag the corner anchor point. You can change the color and size of the text by opening its context menu. 
Once you are satisfied with your diagram, click the Finish button. Resize the diagram bounds using the white handles shown. The final diagram will include the north arrow, disclaimer, and S4 watermark. It is important to make sure the diagram bounds are entirely contained on the screen to avoid an error. Click Done to return to your crash report, which now includes the diagram. Next, let's look at a case that adjusts the geolocation of the point of contact. As you know, the geolocation is performed prior to diagramming using the separate geolocation tool, but in some instances, when not placed correctly, the geolocation point can be adjusted inside the diagram tool. As you can see in the final diagram, we need to adjust the point of contact only, not vehicle alignments. It is important to note that different from other objects, the point of contact can only be repositioned through two options on its context menu, reposition point of impact only, or reposition the entire diagram. For this case, given vehicles are already properly aligned with the map, we will reposition the entire diagram to its correct spot. No other changes are needed, and we can finish the diagram here. However, if you wish, you can enhance the diagram by placing signs like the right turn only and the stop signs from the sign section of the diagram tools. Simply drag them onto the diagram and resize, move, and rotate them as needed. The diagram is now complete. Let's look at a crash that involves three vehicles. From the finished diagram, we see that it shows an additional point of contact. Let's see how we do that. Note that a gray color will be assigned to any vehicle that is missing the color in the crash report. By design, S4 diagram shows only two participants on the initial diagram. Go to the Participants Reported panel to turn on the other participants. We will start by repositioning each vehicle. Use Select All Positions under Vehicle 2's context menu and move it into the proper lane. Repeat for Vehicle 3. In this crash, Vehicle 1 did not stop when coming out of the driveway. So, let's reposition Vehicle 1 by moving the main and pre-crash positions. We also need to add a post position for Vehicle 1 to show its impact with Vehicle 3. Finally, let's add the second point of impact by dragging it from the Signs panel in the Diagramming Tools. You may notice that this icon is smaller than the initial point of impact. This is intentional to show the hierarchy of the first and any following points of impact. The final step to enhance this diagram is to change the arrow color of Vehicle 1 to make it more visible. To do this, open Vehicle 1's context menu, hover over Arrow Color, and change to a darker color like black. Click Finish to complete the diagram. Here is a crash involving a bicycle. From the finished diagram, we can see that we have some work to do to reposition Vehicle 1 and the bicycle, and to create lines to show the sides of the road covered by trees. To start, let's align Vehicle 1 with the road. Then, to draw the sides of the road, we will open the Diagram Tools, go to Tools, and select Polyline. From there, you can click to shape the side of the road and double-click to finish. To change the color of this line, open its context menu, hover over Color, and choose White. Any style changes you make to the first line will be used for the next line, so when you repeat the polyline on the other side, it will also be white. Now we will move the bicycle symbol, which can even be resized to be clearer in your diagram. We will reposition the bicycle to the right place and then add a post position. Although the default post position is 50% opacity, we can change it to be 100% to be more visible. We can also change the orientation of this bicycle to be on its side after impact, which is done in its context menu under Orientation. To finish up this diagram, add a prior position for the bicycle, and then change the arrow color to be a darker, more visible color. Now you can finish the diagram and return to your crash report. This crash takes place inside the second floor of a four-story parking garage. We will have to draw the diagram over the garage roof, but we will use proper tools to make it clear. The same technique shown here can be applied to a diagram in a parking lot crash. First, let's select Parking Spaces under Tools in the Diagram Tools panel. Starting at the bottom, you can click once to start the spaces, drag until you have enough spaces, and click again to complete. If your case calls for it, you can make the spaces curved by adding an anchor point, or you can angle each space to a certain degree. This case involves straight spaces, so we will leave them as they are. You can also change the color of parking spaces from its context menu. 
We will reposition Vehicle 1 by choosing Select All Positions in its Context menu and Repositioning, and then rotating Vehicle 1 to show its position at point of impact. To remove some of the busy background on this roof, you can draw a rectangle. Just click once, drag, and click again to create the shape. Then, we will remove the border color and change the fill color to gray to match the roof as best as possible. Finally, since this crash occurred on the second floor of the garage, place the text box to provide that information. Now, this diagram is complete. This concludes part one of the S4 diagram training. Thank you for your attention. Welcome to Signal 4 diagram training part two. In this video, we will cover additional capabilities of this tool. The material covered here assumes users have already watched part one. In this first example, the vehicle hit the curb and rolled over onto its roof. We will need to add a final position and change its orientation. We will also add and reposition a prior position to where it should be located. To start, let's reposition the vehicles at the curb. Although vehicles generate with a prior position, you can add more prior and post positions to demonstrate the crash better. In this instance, we will add just one more prior position. Now, let's add a post position to this vehicle. You can change the shape of the arrow or move the anchor point along the vehicle. We will move this arrow around the impact and post positions to show how the vehicle moved after impact. Now, to change the orientation to be flipped over, go to the context menu, hover over orientation, and select bottom up. Other available orientations include left or right side up. Note that you can change the orientation of any vehicle position, including the prior position, and you can also change the position of different vehicle types. In part one, we showed an example on how to change the orientation for a bicycle. Click finish to finalize the bounds of the diagram. Remember to not zoom in too far as this makes it difficult to understand the map. This crash occurred on an underpass, which can't be seen due to the overpass on top of it. For this case, we will create a cutout to represent this underpass. Once the vehicles are in place, we will first draw a rectangle on the bridge using the rectangle tool. The Rectangle tool can be found under the Tools tab of the Diagram Tools panel. Once we have our rectangle, we will change the fill color to be gray and remove the border color. Next, use the Line tool to create a dashed line at the top and the bottom edges. Like the Polyline tool, the line style is saved after the first line is created, so it is best to set the first line to be dashed and increase its width before creating the second line. Now, Choose the Curve tool and place the first curve. We'll make these curves thinner and white to match the actual lines on the road. We'll place two more of these with the same style to demonstrate the lanes the cars were driving in. Click Finish to complete the diagram. This case involves trailers, which are easy to add to any vehicle in your diagram. If a trailer is in your crash report, it will generate automatically, but you can also add them to vehicles or place them on their own. For this case, we will see all three instances. The crash report indicated that Vehicle 1 has a trailer. As you can see, this trailer was generated automatically. The vehicle and trailer pivot separately, but you can move them together if you drag the vehicle. You can detach a trailer from a vehicle by pulling them apart, and then reattach them by putting them together and seeing the link icon. To add a trailer to an existing vehicle, just drag the trailer from the Participants tab in the Diagram Tools panel and attach it. You can also add a standalone trailer anywhere on your diagram by just placing it away from a vehicle. Finally, you can change the trailer color by opening the menu and going to the Color option. We'll change this one to brown. Now the diagram is complete. In some cases, you may want to add references to the diagram, such as animals or other vehicles aside from the participants reported that are automatically generated. These could be related to the crash but are not included as parties in the crash report. In this case, we have an off-roadway crash where the driver of the green vehicle was not paying attention and ran off the roadway to avoid an oncoming truck. 
There was no collision with the truck, but it can serve as a reference for the explanation in the crash narrative. As mentioned before, there is no save button because the diagram is saved automatically. If for any reason you need a copy, you can use the export function on the toolbar to download a local copy. To do so, click on export, finalize the diagram bounds, and click done to download. An image of the final diagram will be saved onto your local device. Click back to return to the main diagram screen. This concludes the Signal 4 diagram training.